Look, you know, the president last year at APAC gave this controversial speech in which he talked about return to the 67 borders with, you know, with agreed swaps. And everything hinged on the question of the agreed swaps. You know, was it 67 borders per se or was, you know, et cetera, et cetera. And so there's this um, idea that Israel's problem with the Palestinians is essentially a territorial problem. I would love it if Israel had a territorial problem with the Palestinians. In that case, remove the settlements, solve your problem. It's that simple. Well, you know, are we going to have war forever for these settlements? If it were as simple as that, there would have been peace between Israel and the Palestinians a long time ago. So the administration continues to treat the Israeli-Palestinian conflict as a territorial conflict. But the truth is, it's an existential conflict. It's a conflict that emerges from the fact that too, a critical mass of Palestinians is simply not interested in living with a Jewish state of Israel by its side. You know, an interesting little detail, by the way, Yasser Arafat recognized the Jewish state of Israel. Mahmoud Abbas will not. And Abbas is supposed to be, speaking of moderates, uh, Abbas is supposed to be that much more moderate. I wish the administration would start pointing out that the amount of Jew hatred that continues in the Palestinian Authority is noticed, it's unacceptable, and there will be consequences for it in terms of vis-a-vis -vis US policy. That's something to be, you know, that, that's, that's a point to make. I mean, I'm very happy the administration opposed the Palestinian statehood bid. I'm very happy they acted on UNESCO. They deserve applause for that. But when, um, I mean, a perfect, when Joe Biden goes to Israel in March of 2010, um, and the, some Israeli uh, uh, um, subaltern in, a, in the ministry approves stage four of a seven-stage plan to uh, enlarge a neighborhood in Ramat Shlomo, which is North Jerusalem, not East Jerusalem. It's not an Arab neighborhood. Um, and uh, Biden and the administration have a, uh, a meltdown uh, over that publicly let it be known that Hillary Clinton called up Bibi Netanyahu and uh, tongue-lashed him for, for 40 minutes. And at the same time, the PLO, the Palestinian Authority, names a square after Dalal Mugrahi, a woman who was responsible for the death of 38 Israelis in, 19, in the late 1970s. And that's, that's, you know, that's condemned through a State Department press release. That's a problem. Because, the, you know, it's not, it's missing, the essence of, it's missing the essence of the conflict, and it's not penalizing Palestinians for continuing to, to indulge um, these kinds of hatreds.